Hi guys, so this video is a subscriber request video and it's all about decorating your home with a minimalistic approach. Now, just because you're following a minimalistic philosophy or incorporating it into your lifestyle doesn't mean that you're forbidden from buying beautiful homewares and that you have to live in a cold, bare, sterile home. Far from it, because minimalism is about surrounding yourselves with things that you love, value, appreciate and use. So for this video, I wanted to show you things that I've done inside my home that have allowed me to stay true and authentic to my minimalistic philosophy, but also keeping my home warm, friendly and welcoming. So starting with my coffee table, flowers, bowls of fresh fruit and plants are a fantastic way of bringing color back into the home, inspiring a healthy lifestyle and also bringing the element of nature back into the house. My next tip is to get some beautiful boxes. Now this box costs me I think $30 or less and it's great for storing things like remote controls, um, keys, um, mobile phones, sunglasses, things that you need to quickly grab and hurry when you're running out the door. It keeps everything neat and organized and also is for great for those little bobs and bits that don't really have a home or you don't know what they are. So this is fantastic. My final tip for the coffee table decoration is a tray. Now obviously it doesn't have to just be limited to the coffee table but it's great for grouping things together so they don't feel like they're spread across a certain area. When it comes to cleaning and dusting it makes it a lot easier and efficient to get the house clean again. My next tip is colour. When you're decorating your home pick colours that really lift your mood. Colours that inspire you, colours that make you feel healthy, colours that make you feel happy. But most importantly, pick colours that make you feel peaceful and calm. As you can see, in my home, my favourite colour is blue. And for me, this colour symbolises a sense of calmness and tranquility, a sense of cleanliness, um, freshness, and makes me feel happy. My next tip for decorating a home using a minimalistic approach is style with intention. Don't just throw a blanket over a sofa, neatly pick it up, it only takes a couple of seconds, fold it up neatly and place it somewhere on the sofa that will make it feel warm, welcoming, but neat and tidy. My next tip is to consider harmony, space and balance. So on my hall table, I take my coffee table books and I neatly stack them up considering each book's size and thickness. Then I consider the balance. So I want it to be as asymmetrical as possible. So I look at the space between the two and make sure it's nicely balanced. Then for the dish of all my mixture of things to do, I also neatly fold up each individual piece so that it's nice and tidy and again another great place to hold things that you need to quickly grab in a hurry like car keys, house keys, wallets and so forth. A great way to decorate your home while still staying true to the minimalistic philosophy is to take beautiful photographs of family and friends capturing amazing moments and memories and showcasing them together. For me, in parts around the house, I like to use the same photo frame, but in different shapes and sizes. It gives a sense of organisation and connection. As you can see in the cabinet next to me, I've taken photographs of different moments of people who I absolutely love and adore in different places around the world and put them in the same photo frame, but in different shapes and sizes. To take the decorating to a deeper level, I've taken a place that means a lot to me, and that is the beach. When I go to the beach, I feel refreshed, I feel recalibrated, and I feel re-energized. And then to bring that element into my home, I've taken some coral and a beautiful shell and placed it strategically around my photos. So now when I look at this cabinet, not only am I reminded of very special moments, I'm also reminded of the element of the beach in my home. My next recommendation for decorating with a minimalistic approach are mirrors. Now mirrors are not only functional, but they create the sense of more space. They make a room seem taller, seem wider, and they bring more light into the room. They can also add an element of sophistication and elegance. And what's even better, they're not expensive to buy. You can find a wide range of them with all sorts of different types of frames and sizes and shapes on eBay and on your local gum tree. My final minimalistic decorating tip is if you collect things, display them with pride. When you bring things out into the open that you're passionate about, you're able to open up and share more about you and your values, which in turn can allow deeper connections with the people around you, as well as a greater understanding about who you are. 
and behind me is Rocco's collection of African safari themed teddy bears. He loves jumping into bed at night and looking at them and also when it comes to playtime it's really convenient because they're all grouped together and it's quick and easy to find them all. I'm not running around the house looking under sofas and pillows trying to find them urgently for him. So remember decorating your home with a minimalistic approach isn't about living in an empty shell. And as I'm starting to realize more and more, minimalism isn't about rules or guidelines or comparing yourself to anyone else. It's your personal journey and your personal path that you pave yourself. Just make sure you surround yourself with things that make you feel happy, things that make you feel inspired, and things that make you feel enlightened. So if you have any other minimalistic decorating suggestions, please put them in the comments box below. I love reading them and I love that we can all share our ideas together. I promise I'm gonna continue on making these minimalism videos and if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe because I'm doing a minimalism makeover series every couple of weeks. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Feel free to share it with any family and friends that you think might benefit from this. And I will see you next week on either Money Monday or Lifestyle Love. Ciao!